<laughs> but why not? I'll feed it and I'll pick up after it. Seriously, you'll barely notice it's there. No. Come on, Tom has a toad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm number one. We're not going to get you a pet horse, so forget it. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> it's all for the best. You'll see. Good talk. You never let me have anything. <laughs> When I was your age, I wanted to get a dragon, and my dad wouldn't let me. But I got one anyway. You know how I did it, hmm? By disobeying my parents' wishes. You want me to miss my allowance for three weeks? No thanks. Don't worry. I'm sure he'll fall in love with it the moment he sees it grazing on the front lawn. Okay, but even if you're right, where am I going to find a free pet horse? There are tons in Fairyland. They're all just prancing around waiting to be adopted. Yeah, I deserve to get what I want. If I can't have a boyfriend, I should at least get a horse. Hmm. <laughs> By the way, Aunt Ferocia, I know you're only helping me to make my dad mad, but thanks for the tip. I owe you one. Watch it, all right? Whoa, half haughty, half horse. Oh, I'm in love. Oh, uh, hello. My name is Ideal. My name's Cindy. I'm from the real world. Oh, whoa, really? I'd love to see it one day. What's it like? Well, it's pretty different. There's no magic and definitely no centaurs. You sure? Where'd they all go? Uh, they're in books. Seriously? Wow, I guess they're all crushed. <laughs> <laughs> I like your giggle. Oh, me too. <laughs> Thanks. It bothers most people. No, I meant my laugh. <laughs> I, you, I just... The... Yes? It's just, it feels like we've known each other way longer than a couple minutes. Mm -hmm. Do you want to go back with me to the <gasps> real world? <laughs> Hi, guys. Mm -hmm. huh? This is my friend. His name's Ideal. He's a tourist. Hello there, sir. Madam, how are you? Good, Good and you? you? Here, come on in. Make yourself comfortable. <laughs> What's wrong, Gregor? Got nothing to say? Or maybe you're feeling a little hoarse? <laughs> you could have brought home anything else. An elf, a wizard, a leprechaun, but you brought a bronco? Come on, Dad! He's a centaur! He's not a horse! He's a grass-guzzling, four-legged beast that whinnies and gallops! He's far from human! Calm down, Gregosaur. You could try loosening the reins. They're an unusual pair, but you're an ogre and I'm a fairy. Mwah! That never stopped us from loving one another. Your dad doesn't like me very much. He will. He just needs some time. Cindy, when can we explore the world? <laughs> with this guy? I made him a promise. Hmm? <laughs> Come on, favoritest brother of mine. You'll find a solution for me, won't you? Huh? You sure no one will make fun of me? Don't be silly. We'll blend right in with this costume. No. Whoa. Nice horse, Cindy. I know, right? By the way, this is my friend, Ideal. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Ideal? Hi. Want a little hug? Hmm? <clears throat> you can't come down here? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! All right, you next. <laughs> How are you not done yet? <laughs> oh, he's gorgeous. Look. 
He's got kind of a weird stare. Hey, hands off! Have you lost your mind? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you didn't attack your body! Uh, I'm not the one bringing centaurs home with me! Hmm. Uh, I can tell I'm not welcome. I should leave. Wait! Don't go! You should stay! Oh! Hold on, I'll be right back. <laughs> there, it worked perfectly. Uh -huh. Wow, you look so good now. I mean, not that you didn't before. Oh, that's great. He seems less uh, beastly. Yeah, well, hold on. I mean that he's uh, less like a monster. I mean, he's way more normal. But you know, those shorts are much too short. <laughs> I still feel really weird. <laughs> hey, you should try walking like this. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> you ready? Is this right? Uh. You totally got us with your funny little fake horse trick, Cindy. <laughs> You'd better look out. I'm not a one-trick pony. <laughs> <laughs> We're having a party, and you're invited. Uh, what's a party? So cute. Oh, you can come too if you want, Cindy. It's at Marjorie's. I didn't even have to say anything. You really swept them off their feet. <laughs> Why did the horses cross the road? Because someone shouted, hey! There's something wrong with your veranda. Still afraid of thunderstorms? How old is he? I, uh. <laughs> that party was so fun! No, it wasn't. You acted just like an animal. I did all this real world stuff for you, and now you're lashing out at me? Everyone was staring! I was mortified! You only like my human side. But guess what? I'm half animal! Yeah, I know. I'm really sorry. We both got a little carried away. <laughs> oh, you'll get over it, kid. Cindy can be difficult. She gets on her high horse. I mean, well, you know what I mean. <laughs> Finished with you, Ricky. It's over. And a low pressure system is fully under the country. And tomorrow, the international polo championship finals, England will be playing against South Africa. What does he mean? What's polo? Oh, it's like soccer, but it's on horseback. You have four legs instead of two. So my dad says you're staying in our world after all. Yeah, I'm going to start playing polo. As a centaur, I'll probably be a natural. <laughs> Well, I'm glad that you're back to normal. I've got a leg up on the competition. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. It's fine. I'm really starting to like your laugh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Bye! Bye! Bye. <laughs> 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 
What now? Listen to this! They did an interview with Ideal! First they ask him, Ideal, to what do you owe your incredible success in polo? Then he answers with, It's all thanks to the family who encouraged me to follow my dreams. And a special girl who taught me how to be myself. Oh, he's such a kind creature. Oh, sorry. I mean, a very nice boy. See, Cindy, I told you you'd get a kick out of your new pet. Stink up your enemies by pelting them with our extra strong, extra potent manure. <laughs> wow, I love this thing already. My dear sweet catapult, we're going to have a very beautiful friendship, you and I. I've never heard you talk to me like that. Maybe you should ask yourself why. Hmm? Ugh. I don't do puzzles. I'm not a nerd. You know what comes in one piece? Your mirror. Don't tempt me. Seven years goes by faster than you would think. <laughs> Tom, kiddo, what's going on? It's been a while since we've hung out just us two. When was the last time we chilled? Uh, maybe when I was born? <clears throat> That's all right. We'll make up for it. How would you like to help assemble a manure catapult? We can try it out on Lieutenant Donnelly. <laughs> I'm sorry, but throwing manure at police officers is wrong. My teacher, Miss Tinker, says we should always treat others with kindness and respect. Who does that backwards brainwashing excuse of a teacher think she is? Her good morals are repulsive. Pah. And I'll bet she's hideous to look at. She's young and elegant with long blonde hair and a thousand watt smile. <laughs> but yes, you're right, she's a monster. Hey, how'd you do that? I thought you didn't have magic powers. Oops. Did I say that? Okay, show me. What's on the other side of this glass? <laughs> Nothing special. Just look. Where does this thing lead? Good morning, miss. You said we were gonna learn about ethics today, right? Learn about what? Uh, Miss Tinker, are you feeling okay? Miss Tinker? <laughs> What's going on? Got a pimple or something? Uh, nothing. I'm fine. Get in! You're late! I can climb inside that thick head of hers and control what she does? You could have told me about your powers before, ya traitor! <laughs> I must have forgotten. <laughs> your secret's out. Now you're gonna let me take another spin in Little Miss Perfect's mind. And that's an order. Oh, my favorite nephew's gonna learn how to cause a big stink. I'll make it my duty. All right, first lesson! Ooh. Hang on, you're supposed to take attendance first, Miss Tinker. That's a good point, Blockhead. All right. Miss Prissy, present. Bonehead, you're here. Mini Troll, here. Okay, you're all present, and I see you brought your dumbest looks. Let's get started. Today, we're learning about how to rebel. The world is cruel, and if you want to survive, you've got to adapt. That's why starting now, cheating is mandatory, and you should yell instead of raising your hands. Understood? <laughs> Uh -huh. hmm. Well, Gnome Dome, I'm waiting. Uh, poop? Is that the right answer, Miss Tinker? Zero. That'll teach you not to ask for approval. <laughs> ah! Someone put thumbtacks in my chair! It was me. Is that a problem? <gasps> <laughs> Excellent work, you little gremlin. 18 out of 20. No way. I deserve to get a perfect score for that. Well done. The bad attitude gets you 20 out of 20. The rest of you sheep take notes. My dear nephew, so 
How was your day at school? You're interested in my education now? It wasn't good. Miss Tinker kept saying that we need to toughen up because the world is cruel. She wants us to be mean and rude. Oh, maybe she's protecting you from getting hurt. I've got to say, it's not a bad idea. You know, I bet she wouldn't mind if we tried out the manure catapult in the name of learning self-defense. No, sorry, but that's going too far, Auntie. Wouldn't hurt to ask, who doesn't love manure? <laughs> What's new, sweetie? Tell me about your day. Uh, it was all right. Miss Tinker was being really weird. You know what she did? <coughs> I'll be right back. I ate too much. <laughs> Summon Tom's face now. <laughs> Tom, what's wrong? What did she do? Nothing. Don't worry. Whoa, whoa. I'm getting really tired. Night. Go to bed now. Whew. That was close. I've got an important lesson for these morons. Summon Miss Tinker. <laughs> Someone's going for teacher's pet. Now, what are the funniest things that someone could throw in your face? Uh, cause your boy? No. Some rotten fruit? Not bad. <laughs> uh, some manure? Yes, that's right. Very good. You're making progress, Tom. Thank you. Hang on. So you think it's okay to throw manure at people? Definitely. Especially if it's at Lieutenant Donnelly. Uh, but I never mentioned Donnelly. Uh, yeah, I know, but, uh, I just guessed what you were thinking. You're an evil genius. And your teacher's head. Hey, don't talk when I'm in here. It's making my ears hurt. <laughs> now, next lesson. Follow my lead. <laughs> Get out of there. Hey, what's happening? Come on, Auntie. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how'd you get here? Ha! Huh, you're busted! Leave Miss Tinker alone, okay? Yeah, sure. But only if you assemble my catapult for me. If not, your little teacher will never be the same again. Mirror! Stop her! Sadly, I must obey my master. I can only reflect ferocious foulest wishes. Hey! Stay back! <laughs> Mirror, I've got a new rule that you can add to your list. Listen up, okay? You're forbidden from letting me control other people's actions. This ban is unbreakable and in effect starting right now. What did you just do? Mirror, summon Tom's face for me and make it quick. <laughs> I 
I'm giving you all a month of detention. Hmm? <laughs> Tom, punctuality's a question of respect. You'll be writing lines after school. Yay, thank you, Miss Tinker. Glad you're back. <clears throat> Can somebody tell me what's going on here? So, what's this big surprise? Ta-da! <laughs> My manure catapult! Oh, wow, thank you, you did it! You might not want to thank me just yet. Just hold on. Listen, I never meant to cause you any harm. <laughs> ah! Items that you might find useful on your field trip. <clears throat> Mom, it's just a little hike in the forest with my class. It's not a survival course. I hear you, sweetie, but you might run into some dangerous creatures. Seriously, stop worrying about me. Will you at least take my wand with you? <laughs> Sure, like I have a choice. Look at this beautiful tree. Can anybody tell me what it's called? Oh, oh, oh. It's an oak tree. Correct. More specifically, it's a Kirkus Petraea. Not to be confused with Kirkus Variabilis, uh, its Maureen. Asian counterpart. Maureen! Uh, thank you, Maureen. Hey. If Captain Dragon were here, he'd just throw her into a time warp or a black hole or something. <laughs> ah, what was that? <gasps> ah, what was that? <laughs> He's a little coward. <laughs> You're wrong. I'm no coward. You would jump too if you were grazed by a wild boar, okay? A wild boar? You sure? Or was it the infamous Big Bad Wolf on the hunt and hungry for Tom? Huh. Good one, Victor. Ha <laughs> ha, <laughs> 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 coward! <laughs> 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 Just wait, you'll see which one of us is really afraid of the big bad wolf. Wolf, let's growl. It's time to growl. Snarl and howl! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Pick me, pick me, please, Miss Tinker. <laughs> oh no, why the long face? You all right? It's been a rough season for me, Tom. I'm down and out. Can't bring myself to hug kids. But I summoned you here to scare one of the guys in my class. No can do. It's been a long time since I spooked anyone. anymore because they've memorized all your tricks. But nobody in the real world even believes you exist. They're gonna be super terrified. You think so? Yeah, I know so. But don't try anything. You're only here to scare kids, not eat them, okay? Oh yeah, let's do this, Tom. Our forests are made up of leafy and resonant groups. Huh? Hey, I'll wait! Them by oh, my bag! That one's a coastal redwood or California redwood, miss. 
It's a sequoia from the Cypress family, formally classified under the Taxodiaceae family. Miss Tinker! I saw a wolf standing on his hind legs. He had these giant teeth and he started growling at me. The tables have turned. Who's scared of the big bad wolf now? <laughs> <laughs> You've been reading fairy tales? <laughs> Wolves haven't lived in this region for a hundred years, Victor. I'm afraid huh? that's not quite accurate, Miss Tinker. My handbook says wolves sometimes repopulate the forest near city. Seriously? Oh, well, yes, that's true. Thanks, Maureen. Now, everyone, let's keep moving. <laughs> hey, Tom. Ha-ha! Hmm? <laughs> Thanks. You did a great job. Oh, thank you, Tom. Hearing that kid's terrified deal really took me back. <laughs> anyway, it was awesome to see you again, man. Seriously. We're finished already? But you dangled them in front of my nose. Uh, I'm really sorry, but nobody in this world can find out that you exist. They just can't. I understand. You're selfish. You're done with me now, so you're sending me away like a stray. No, it's just... You're not the boss of me. After all, I'm the big bad wolf! Hey! Tom? What? That's weird. These flowers aren't listed in my handbook. Ooh. Yourself, so you can't attack me, right? Watch out! It's the return of the biggest, baddest. Dog. Everyone stay here. I'll be right back. Miss Tinker, don't go, please! It's dangerous! Where are you going, Tom? Our teacher might need someone to help her! Oh, oh sweet. My buddy's braver than the great Captain Dragon. And you, you haven't even budged, you big chicken. There, there, now. It's all right. You must be lost. What a poor, poor little puppy dog. Huh? Hey, where's Miss Tinker? She was here two seconds ago. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's strange. When did it get so dark out? <gasps> What's wrong? He said that I couldn't eat kids, and this one's not a kid. Sure, no hood, but she has red lipstick. <gasps> Poor Miss Tinker! Huh? What have you done? You! Miss <laughs> 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 Tinker, are, are you okay? okay? Hmm? <sighs> <gasps> <gasps> Is that you, Miss Tinker? Little children. Hi! I see you! Yoo-hoo! Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> hey, it's just Miss Tinker, you guys. She's wearing a wolf costume. <laughs> oh, nothing personal. <laughs> Whoa, that was an awesome costume. Those big teeth looked really real. Yeah. Hmm? Miss Tinker, anything wrong? You feeling okay? Because you seem kind of like you're upset. That's odd. It was just dark out, and now it's light again. Wow, nice one, Miss Tinker. We all thought you were a wolf. Huh. <laughs> I knew it was her the whole time. It was obvious. Oh, really? What about when you were trembling with fear? Ha! <laughs> In your dreams, I fear nothing. Plato is backhand, Tom. Listen to your coach! He knows what's up! <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for the tournament. You're gonna get flattened! <laughs> our defeats teach us to be our best selves, and there's nowhere to go but up after losing 11 to 0, right, son? I'm sick of losing. On the bright side, at least you make your opponents look good. Thanks, Mom. I feel way better now. Take heart, Tom. Excelling in athletics requires patience and perseverance. Nobody can turn into a champion overnight. I know, but the table tennis tournament's tomorrow. Another reason why you shouldn't throw in the towel. <laughs> <laughs> Pass me the wrench, please. Oh, of course, my beauty. Here. If you're that worried, then why don't you just coach Tom yourself? I bet it would give him more confidence. I'm not so sure about that, honeydew. I don't know the rules, and I've never even held a paddle before. Oh, <laughs> you have a special talent for making life more complicated than it needs to be. Isn't that what they call cheating in the real world? No, it's only cheating if it's schoolwork, and having a good instructor will keep Tom motivated. Hmm. What's with the crazy costume? This here's my special table tennis training outfit. Then what experience do you have, Gregor? I was the champion of mm, troll tennis back in the fairy world. It's almost the same thing. Tell me, Gregor, why are you only sharing this shining achievement with us now? Oh, you know me. I don't really like to brag. Anyway, let's get moving. You have a tournament to win. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. He thinks he'll do better because he's the kid's dad. Ha, <laughs> good luck. Okay, we're going to start slow. I'll serve the ball to you gently. And you'll return it to me. Ready? Mm -hmm. Ha! <laughs> Good, and now you try serving. <laughs> Listen, son, the ball's like a baby animal. You need to caress it, not just hit it. It's cute, see? I could take you down blindfolded, standing on one leg. Why not just forfeit? Ah! Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? If you're so good, Victor, how about you try to beat me? Bring it on. Ugh! <laughs> 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 
Ha! You should have forfeited too bad. Are you happy now? Your server mine, Dad. Wow, that was seriously awesome. Can I have a rematch? I guess you didn't learn your lesson. Get out of the way, noob. <laughs> 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 How'd the training go, my future champion? I had a little bit of a shaky start, but after the second or third smash, I was unstoppable. And guess what? I just signed up for the tournament. Mom was talking to Tom, not you. Hmm. Oh. You should try professional blundering. You'd break the world record. I'm not the expert here, but doesn't the trainer usually train his students instead of participating? Well, he's learning by example, don't you see? My methods get results. It'll fall into place. Want me to help you fall? <laughs> My dad's a champion. I bet he's ashamed to have a son who's so bad at table tennis. Don't let it bother you. Every brilliant athlete faces hardship. There's no magic shortcut to success. Hmm? Thanks, but I think using magic's the only way to make him proud. Don't do it. That would be cheating. The important thing is to have... Um... Yeah, you're the best, sweetie. Go get him. Oh, hmm? I'm sorry. Are you still upset with me? Of course not. You helped me get motivated. Ha <laughs> ha. Great attitude. It's all about your mindset. The tournament's about to begin. Get your paddles ready. Come on, you've got this, dear. Hmm. <laughs> 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 I never thought you'd make it this far, son. Hmm? Hmm? I mean, uh, I was just uh, wondering how you did it. Well, I caressed the ball, like you told me to yesterday. I can let you win this if you want. Hmm? Uh, just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> Come on, you little brat. Send that ogre back to the swamp. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> 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 Are you rooting for Tom or for Dad? I'm not choosing sides. I'm cheering for them both. Yeah, you're the best!
cheated! Shame on you! You're a con! You're a liar! You're a con! You're a liar! You're a con! You're a liar! Let's go, Tom! You're a liar! Yeah! Hey, Your Highness, are they all yelling, you're on fire or you're a liar? I presume you're regretting your choice. Dad's gonna lecture me. Our defeats teach us to be our best selves, Tom. And sometimes winning does the opposite. Hey, Dad. Are you mad at me? Of course not, Tom. If anything, I'm the one to blame here. I'll tell you why. <sighs> Truth is, we made the same mistake. I might have used a little bit of magic. You did? <sighs> I cheated. But only because I wanted you to be proud of yourself. And I only cheated because I wanted to make you proud. Funny how that works. Oh. Hey, don't forget, we have a match point and I'm ready to strike. Okay, but no cheating for this one. Now, prepare to be released from your expertise. Abracadabra! <laughs> Sorry, we're back. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure you need a two-point lead to win the match? At this rate, we'll be here all night long. <laughs> My battery's dying. Keep trying! <laughs> Um, mm. Ugh, seriously, are you kidding me? Oh, you found my secret ingredient. There, look at that. Perfect, right? Oh, thanks, but I'm feeling kind of sick. Do you have a fever? <laughs> Your temperature seems to be normal. Are you just trying to get a day off from school? No, it's fine. I can deal. Mm -hmm. ah, I think I tore my legular bicep! Ah, it hurts! Ah! 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 We can tell you're faking. Now, what's wrong? I know. His class is getting their shots today, and somebody's nervous. Too bad there's no vaccine for imaginary sicknesses, because Tom sure gets a lot of those. You think there's a cure for cysterosis? Mm. It just hurts for a second, and then it's you over. You know, huh? I heard of somebody who got a freak reaction. They had to amputate. The swelling was bad. <gasps> could be the last time I get to hold you in both of my arms. Worst day ever. I guarantee my day is much worse. <laughs> I've been summoned by Sir Vainglory of Coxcomb. I have to get a shot and they can chop my arm off! He'll surgically remove my dignity. That stings far more than a little needle. <laughs> <laughs> we, we should, should trade, trade places. places. <laughs> Change how I look and change what I see. I'll become you and you'll become me. Hey, sweet! Tom, be careful of the face. No. You must be his highness. Well, come on, let's go. The meter's running. Wow, so cool! This is the best day ever! Faster, Hubert! Woohoo! Hmm. Can you walk normally, please, Tom? Uh, please excuse me, my lady. I'm not accustomed to this physique.
Today, we'll be learning about courtly love in the Middle Ages. Can anyone tell me what that means? Oh, go ahead, Tom. Uh, Tom, you can go ahead. Huh? Uh, oops, right, that's me, Tom. Okay. Courtly love is a delicate art form by which a knight charms a lady. I shall demonstrate. Oh. Ms. Tinker, you look just like an angel. Your golden locks are even more beautiful than Rapunzel. Miss Tinker, are you and Tom going to get married? Tom has a crush on the teacher! <laughs> <laughs> now, don't make fun. That was a perfect example of courting. Well done, Tom. I'm impressed by your acting. Why, thank hmm? you. That's the same speech I used on Cinderella. Uh, I mean, never mind. You arrived at your destination. I had an awesome time! Thanks a lot! <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't look good for me. Anybody there? Follow the sound of my voice, dear gentleman. <sighs> Trapped, are you, my foul friend? It's for your own good. <laughs> Sorry. Why me? I didn't do anything. Have you forgotten already, you loathsome rogue? Chance for vengeance has finally arrived! <laughs> if I knew that, I would have gone to school! Help me! Uh, you big coward! You let your dragon do the dirty work? What kind of knight's not brave enough to face a kid? Uh, I mean, a, a, to a toad! Such insolence! But I suppose you do have a point. Come on, hurry up! Before I'm well done! <laughs> I shall avenge my honor by way of a jousting duel! Uh, or how about a game of marbles instead? Uh, no, right, okay. Uh, jousting it is, woo! Hmm. <laughs> uh. uh. Miss Tinker, we're not going to dismember these innocent creatures, are we? They're for dissecting, not dismembering. We're not monsters. <laughs> Go! Save yourselves, my bounding brethren! Don't touch my bra! Hop! Tom, you've got detention for one day. No, two days. Three days. Four days. Not even a thanks. You pay for this in recess. You don't have anything bigger, do you? Why didn't I just get the vaccination? <sighs> Good luck! <laughs> Hurry up, let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Understood. Let me, gentlemen, I don't want to fight you. <laughs> You're so much bigger than me, after all. <laughs> what have I told you? I'm not actually Tom. Stop trying to confuse me. 
You didn't tell me Vainglory's mad at you! Well, you never told me Victor's much worse than Vainglory! He's the terror! Stop hiding in that gutter, old fire knave! Prepare to be skewered, you slimy scoundrel! <laughs> your tyranny ends now. It's time to face someone of your own stature, Vainglory. <gasps> the nasty little gnome dares to insult me. Stop that! <laughs> Must be a princess. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> I get my revenge one day. <laughs> change how I look and change what I see. You become you, and I'll become me. Cool sword fight. Seriously. Huh? Okay, it's vaccination time. I didn't get mine yet? No. Oh, and you have detention. What? Really? Uh -huh. <laughs> Hello, little friend. Trying to run away? Frogs belong in the science lab. Ah! 